I'm on my way home. I, well, to Reno, my Reno home. I got to come home on Thursday and spend Thursday night, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and part of Monday with my family, which was awesome. Um, for those of you that didn't know, which if you watch my YouTube channel, you know that I did. Um, I had the Rona. Um, I finally got my test back Friday morning with a positive. So, um, yay. So anyways, then um, my boss told me that he wasn't gonna let me come back until Tuesday. So that gave me another day with my family, which was awesome. Um, so I was heading home here just a little while ago and I got a ways down Highway 56 and realized that I left my computer. Gong, 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 gong. So, um, anyway, so I had to turn around and go all the way back to my house in Enoch and get my computer because it's finals week on my school and we're doing a group project that has to be turned in on Wednesday and it's PowerPoint, so yeah. So we will definitely be getting home to Reno late today. So my dog Bo, um, she's done this trek with me several times and um, this last time when we were heading out here, she was like not wanting to go and was like whining and crying and stuff. And I couldn't figure out why, because it's like, we've done this so many times before, why would this make you upset? And so anyways, it was real clingy. And then when we're heading back home, she was the same way. She didn't want to be in the car. And I'm like, that's so weird. It's like, you've grown up going back and forth in the car. So anyways, as I was driving home to pick up my computer, I remembered that the last time that we had came home, that I almost hit a cow and she went lying. Not funny, but funny. And so I think she's having flashbacks. Yeah, thinking that the car rides are not so fun and relaxing anymore and that she wants me to hold her because she doesn't want to die. So, yeah, so there's that. And um, my brother Donnie, he had his heart surgery and everything went well. Um, he had his heart surgery today. They um, said everything looks good. He came out. Um, he's got the ventilator off and doing really good. So that's awesome. And um, for shitty sad news, um, my mother-in-law's mom passed away um, Friday morning or was it? Saturday morning or Friday night so that's pretty shitty um, I didn't know her that well but um, it breaks my heart for my mother-in-law um, so yeah it seems like these things happen a lot around the holidays you know my dad when he had his open heart surgery it was um, Thanksgiving and we had um, our Thanksgiving dinner at the Golden Corral um, my grandma died in December um, when I was little, when I was like 11. So that was really crappy. Um, so we had this stupid joke that grandma got ran over by a reindeer. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh. not funny, but funny. So anyways, also I did a thing. I got this here tattoo, if you can see it. I don't know if you can. Um, it's a feather with um, a puzzle piece in it for autism awareness. Um, as most of you know, um, Paisley is high functioning autistic and she's our little hippie girl. So the feathers for the little hippie girl and, um, the puzzle piece for autism awareness. So, um, as I was driving home last time, I was thinking about it and I'd been thinking about getting it for a while, but I was like, I want to get it now because I kind of finally decided what I wanted. So anyways um it's not my mom's favorite thing for us to get tattoos and whatnot so she was at the hospital with my brother this morning and i was over getting this tattoo and i was going to send my daughter a picture of it and i accidentally sent it to my mom i was like oh sometimes you know so anyways going back to um reno and get to come home um this weekend we're gonna have a Christmas party 
um, with the Heslington side of the family, so that should be fun. Um, I will miss the celebration of life, which sucks because um, I really love my mother-in-law. And um, I also miss the celebration of life when her dad died, so it makes me feel super bad. Um, but she knows I love her, so that's good. Um, I can't think of any other news right now, so that's that. Um, of course, I'll have some pics at the end, so we'll talk to you soon. One o'clock, wallow in self-pity. 4.30, stare into the abyss. Five o'clock, solve world hunger. Tell no one. 5.30, jazzercise. 6.30, dinner with me. I can't cancel that again. Seven o'clock, wrestle with myself loathing. I'm booked.